inside the timing cover, we have a crank driven oil pump. So we're going to take this out and see what it looks like. Now I've already cracked all these loose. Got to be real careful because uh, some of them stick. And uh, you, you don't want to break the aluminum housing. You don't want to lean into it too much. You don't need to see me unscrew all these, so I'll continue the video later. Okay, so let's pull the cover off and see what we're looking at here. Well, we got some race tracks, some railroad tracks there. Now that, this does not mean that the cover is ruined. If this entire cover is sanded down and polished smooth, then you'll be okay. Okay, you can't just sand down this portion. Because this is machined flat at the factory. Um, you can remachine it or you can take a sander. Uh, if you look at one of my other videos, I used a random orbital sander and um, progressively finer, gr uh, finer grits of sandpaper and I, got, and I restored the surface. So that, that, I mean, I can feel that it's, that's way too much. If it's just a little bit of scarring, then that's typical and it's not a problem, but, um, we're, we're going to get rid of these. I mean, I can, I can really feel those. It, that's going to cause a, com a compromise in the oil pressure. So then let's, let's take out the gears here. Come on, sweet hot. Come on. You want to take a look and uh, we've got some gouging there. I don't know how well that comes out in the video. And uh, on the sides, it's imperative that all these surfaces be nice and smooth. And I'll tell you straight up, these are not. Okay, we've got lots of railroad tracks going on here. Gal just going right around. This this has processed something other than oil. And when you can when you can feel it, it's too deep. And uh, you don't you don't want to machine your gears. Okay, you don't want to sand them down. You want to get new ones. Now let's take a look at our surface in here. And this is really something very critical. Let's just clean it up. Let's get in there. So you want to inspect this surface right here. And this surface. All the way around. Because uh, if there are any deep grooves, any gouges, any pits then your oil pressure is going to be compromised. The oil is just going to bypass that. Uh, if you have deep grooves here, then you have two choices. One, replace the whole timing cover. Or two, you can have a machine shop machine down this surface and this surface. If you take this down three thousandths, this has to be taken down three thousandths. And then after, you do, after they do that, you install, they would install the gear, put some plastic gauge across it, install the cover, and check clearances. I believe it's five thousandths, um, but check your manual just to make sure. Now, uh, get a price from them, because you can purchase these in the aftermarket. They're kind of pricey, but nevertheless, uh, you can get them, and compare it to the price of having it machined. Now, personally... I own a bridge port and this is exactly the kind of machine that they'll use they'll mount it there machine it out with a big bit and make it like new but not everyone's got a machine uh, shop in their garage so take a look at that and this one is actually not too bad I'm surprised I'm really surprised What I will do, and what you can do too, you can actually, uh, if you don't have the money 
for another cover. You can take some very fine, very fine sandpaper and something large and round. Not this large and round. Say, um, end cap for a pipe. Put your sandpaper on it and gently sand the surface down so that it becomes flat. I say gently because you don't want to take too much off. And then uh, install your new gear set. Sand this down nice and flat. And uh, put your plastic gauge on and do a measurement. That way, if you have a ruined timing cover, which will not provide you with good oil pressure, you can possibly restore it. I say possibly because it depends on how deep your gouges are. I've seen them hopelessly gouged. But uh, this, one is, this one's definitely salvageable. Because I cannot catch my finger, catch my fingernail, on any of these grooves. Which means they're really just cosmetic. And when checking your front timing cover, what you want to do is turn it up here. See this port? Notice there is a tension ring in there. That's an internal slip ring. See that? You can call it a C-clip, call it what you want. The oil pressure relief valve is behind there. They gum up all the time. So take this out and check your check your spring and your check valve. 